back with another DIY. So I just want to make a really quick, simple table for my entryway. Um, it's not really a foyer, so I can't call it a foyer, but yeah, I need a little table, not need, but I would like a little table there with a few knickknacks. So I have this leftover wood. Um, from when I made some shelves for my guest bathroom. And it's the perfect size for the area I need it in. So, yeah. Um, so I have this leftover wood. The whole piece itself was about, um, I know it was less than $15 and I had it cut into three pieces, so yeah. And the materials we're gonna need are these legs that I got from Lowe's. Um, these are, let's see, 28 inch Parson table legs. Um, it has a screw on top already, so this is gonna be a really quick and easy project. Um, I got four legs, 28 inches. And I also have um, this hardware straight top plate. And these are gonna go onto the bottom of the table in the four corners and it has the screws with it. And we're just gonna screw our legs right in. Now, I didn't know if I wanted to stain this wood or um, if I wanted to spray paint it. Um, I do have some leftover stain that I got a few years back um, and I stained one spot and it's not quite the look I'm going for so I probably have to do two or three coats and if I don't like it um, I'm gonna spray paint it with this paint and this is dark brown um, I'll insert a picture of the shelves that I made for um, the guest bathroom that I actually did spray paint this color so I'm gonna go ahead and stain this wood So you put the stain on, rub it in, and have an old towel or rag, and wipe the excess off. And that's the first coat. So we're gonna wait about 15 minutes and then we're gonna go back in with the second coat okay so this is what it's looking like after the second application I think I'm gonna go in and do one more and then wipe that off now this application I didn't wipe off I just let it sit for about an hour and a half and it still was a little damp but um I just went back in and wiped it off after letting it sit for an hour and a half to get like a darker stain, but I'm going with one more coat and then we're gonna stain the legs and be done. So I'll be back. So here are the legs with the three sides stained. I still have to do the back side of the big board and one side of each of the legs. So this is what it's looking like. 
the first two legs have a darker stain then these two are a little light so I'm gonna have to go back in with another coat for these two legs but I believe the first two they're good to G O so yeah I'm excited okay so those are the legs at least three of them there's the other one and now we're getting ready to put these bad boys on and before you do you want to um, put some pre-drilled holes here in the little holes there because you don't want to split your wood so I'm gonna get a hammer and hammer in some little holes there and then I'm gonna drill these in using my handy dandy drill okay and I'll be back to screw the legs on. Okay, so I was using my handy dandy drill right there, which did not work. So I had to break out the screwdriver and I pre-drilled some holes in it. And now I'm just screwing it in by hand. Not as quick, but it works a lot better has me using the drill only just put a big hole in my wood and I'll show you guys that um, right here it just put a big hole underneath there and it's crooked and it's off centered a bit so I'm just gonna have to go back in and um, redo it my last one that I have to screw in and then I'm going to attach the legs so I'll be back so here is the final project and so I just added a few knickknacks um, I just added this fake plant that I think I got from TJ Maxx or Hobby Lobby and this is just um, a little plate my husband got for me when he was in Korea. And this is just a little calendar thingy majig I got from Kirkland's a few years ago. I added this clay plate that my um, son made a few years ago for our keys. It's a little small, but it fits the table. And I just put my keys and my um, sunglasses there when I walk in the door. And of course, one of my um, new favorite candles the cranberry pear bellini from bath and body works that i got when they had an awesome sale for $8.95 and this is it so nothing's different and it's just here in my entryway with our pictures right there I'm see if i can step back and kind of get a overall view of what it looks like and that's it um, I did have, have to add like, um, what is it? Um, oh, felt to the feet. I had to add some felt to the feet. Um, and it just helped make it uh, more sturdy and quieter. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making this table. It was really quick, easy. Um, and like I said, it was very inexpensive. So yeah, please thumb up this video, like it, subscribe. And I'm almost to 300 subscribers, which is super crazy, but also super exciting. And I am going to do a giveaway once I get to 300 subscribers. So yeah, thank you guys for supporting me. Talk to you later, bye.